Hi, this is attorney Nicole Christie from the Christie Law Firm where we work hard to make families stronger. And today we are presenting another part in our series, How Do I Get My Kids Back? And I wanna to talk to you about the role of your attorney. We here at the Christie Law Firm, we take pride in coming alongside our clients because we realize we play a critical role in, the, in our parents getting their children back. And so as an attorney, our job is to do the fighting for you. We don't want you to go in and cuss out DCF. Sometimes, yes, they deserve it. But again, we don't want you to have to do that. We don't want you to have conversations with DCF where you're having, you're giving up so much information and all of that turns out to be used against you. We are your advocates. We are the ones that are fighting for you, kind of like Olivia Pope, minus the personal drama, your gladiators that go in and we try to get the job done for you where you won't be able to. And starting over, starting over. Starting over. All right, here we go. Hi, this is attorney Nicole Christie from the Christie Law Firm where we work hard to make families stronger. So today in this next installment on our series, How Do I Get My Kids Back? I wanna to talk to you about your lawyer's role. Your lawyer's role, my role is to fight for you. What I don't want to have you do is, if you're our client, is have you get into these arguments with DCF, you're disagreeing with them, you're throwing up an email battle. Sometimes I see battles that just wage for days online through email. We don't want you to do that. We want you to be able to focus on the treatment, focus on the service providers, focus on having great visits with your children so that you stand in the best position to be able to get your children back. Our job is to be able to do the fighting for you. So the best analogy that I can use is that DCF will be coming at you with what I consider like a machine gun. If you think about those movies and the person brings out their machine gun and they're just riddling the bullets, they're talking about all the allegations. When you are doing everything possible, you are cooperating, you're doing your services, you're visiting with the kids, you don't miss a beat, you give us a machine gun. And when we get to shoot back a court saying, hey, listen, DCF, I don't think you have as strong a case as you think, because you as parent, your bullets are bigger and stronger when you are the parent who's been cooperating. DCF doesn't have an arbitrary right to take your children, but if there is a concern of abuse or neglect that places that child at risk, that's when their bullets gets a little bit stronger. But you eliminate that, they're not as strong as when you, the parent, the biological parent, the legal guardian, when DCF messes with your rights as a, as a parent and you do what you need to do, your bullets are even stronger. Now, on the other hand, if you are not doing what you need to do, you haven't been visiting with your kids, you're still in the domestic violence relationship, you haven't left the person, even though they're causing you grief, you haven't been testing clean, it's like showing up to that fight where they have the machine gun with just a revolver. I can shoot one bullet at a time. That's not helpful. That's not gonna give your attorney the tools necessary. You give us the bullets and we will take care of the rest. There is an apparent that I've seen that has cooperated and done what they needed to do. And I get involved and I say, listen, I'm just filing a motion. I have seen changes with just the threat of filing a motion simply because they don't want to have to go into court knowing they haven't done what they needed to do, they being DCF. So give us the ammunition, give us the tools necessary, and our job as your attorney is to fight for you so that you're free to do the things that you need to do to focus on getting the kids back. Once DCF is gone, the fighting is gone. We'll move on to another fight. We want to make sure that you're in a place that when you get the kids home, they never have to leave again 
until they're 25 or 30 or 40 or whenever you kick them out of the house on your terms and not on someone else's. So please stay tuned for additional videos that we have. We have others in this series. We also have other videos about, about DCF and our job and our goal is to make sure kids stay with their parents and making sure that their parents are able to give them a safe, stable home so that they can raise them as their own as I believe God intended. Take care.